Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to another episode of A Cup of Coffee in the Neighborhood with Jennifer Richardson. Morning. Um, so Jennifer has some kind of updates about what's going on in the neighborhood. Um, so I'll kind of just turn it over to her and then afterwards we'll kind of just discuss some stuff that's going on with the Fed and then some of the financial stuff that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. So um, Mark, what is going on is that I am I'm gearing up to send out the neighborhood newsletter. It goes out once a quarter. Mm -hmm. um, it should be in you guys' mailboxes in the next two weeks. If you happen to not be on that list, if you haven't received it in the past, go ahead and shoot me a message and get it. Um, you know, make sure that your your address is to me. And um, the thing that I like about this letter the most is that, you know, we're talking about, of course, what's going on in the market a little bit as a whole in Wilmington and in the area, but more specifically driving down into the neighborhood and how our neighborhood is performing. Um, I think it's important that we, you know, set a benchmark for how we're doing, how our investments are performing, of course. and. You know, now that we're nearing that kind of two to three year mark, we're starting to see some inventory turn over within Scottsdale Village. And so what that means is, you know, people are listing their houses and selling them. Um, I think it's really important that, you know, we, we keep our eyes on things, especially as the market is starting to cool a little bit. It can impact you if you're considering selling your house. Um, it can impact you if you're considering refinancing, which I'm not seeing a lot of people refi no. right now. With Most people are the just doing are. HELOCs. But yeah, but even yeah, a HELOC. If right? you're doing a HELOC, you have to have that defined value of your home to mm -hmm. see where you're sitting, of course. Um, so a couple of other things that are going to be um, included in that are um, we have a new business that's opening, which I'm really excited about. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but the um, it's called Freya's House. It's on the corner of Scotts Hill loop and 17. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've seen them working on that. Yep, for they've some been time. working on that. Um, they're nearing completion. So I'm really excited to spend some time with her and kind of get the you know inside details about that, what that's going to look like and how we'll be able to utilize that as a community because I think it's going to be a really cool spot. Um, additionally, I don't know if you're aware or not, Mark, but Halloween is coming. And is it? Is it already <laughs> Halloween season? It is for I'm me. I'm still and sweating my outside. Yeah. Uh, Fourth of July was a banger. Yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. No pun intended. Yes. Oh my God, my jokes are so bad before coffee. Fourth uh, <laughs> of July was great. Um, what I tend to do is, you know, get ready for Halloween. It's my favorite season. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be decorating soon. Don't judge us. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be talking about, you know, doing another boo bash, right? Because yeah. we had that going on yeah. last year. It was mm -hmm. super fun. The neighborhood really came together. Um, so just a lot of cool things going on and of course then the pool update too. So I saw him working on that this morning. So I'll be putting all of that into that letter and uh, sending it out. Well, I've seen, I've seen the letter. It's very informative. Um, obviously, we just kind of need y'all's information so that we can disperse that because obviously there has been some changeover in the neighborhood and everything else. So if you want to be on that letter, you know, just um, send us a message um, and then we'll, we'll contact you um, off off of the posts so that, you know, we're not giving out all of your information and everything else. For sure. So tell me what's going on in the uh, financial world. So financial world. So hopefully this week's a good week. Um, right now, mortgage-backed securities are up like 41, 41 bips. Um, we're coming to you a little bit later. So today's actually Wednesday. Usually we try to do these things on Monday, but it's Wednesday today. And then um, the CPI is coming out tomorrow. What's and the CPI? So consumer price index, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't understand actually what the consumer price index is. So the easiest way that I've been able able to kind of explain it to people is if a household spends money on it, it goes into the consumer price index. Okay. Like right? gas, energy, Ener costs, yeah, things yeah, like energy that. costs. Um, yeah. like you want to buy a couch, like mm -hmm. you know, buy a new car. Yeah. Um, all of these things go into the CPI. Essentially they have like 75 data points that they get everything from. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing that makes up the CPI, I think it makes up 42% of the overall mm -hmm. CPI is housing. Mm -hmm. And what the problem with it is, and the reason why the Fed likes um, the CPI so much in order to cover inflation or to measure inflation um, is because A, it takes from 75 um, different data points. And then it also has such a large like housing market. And that's why you know CPI and inflation has infected interest rates so much. Um, but the issue with it is to an extent, in my opinion, is that housing lags right because they do a lot of it off of rent mm -hmm. right so if you i think rent topped in like june of 2022 so we're still getting those 12 month leases because once you rent a house or rent a apartment you're not renting it for a day you're renting it for a year and so that that inflated rent when rent was very high back then 
it's still producing today. Mm -hmm. So it's still showing that there's these overinflated numbers and that's why inflation has been steadily going down. But CPI is coming out tomorrow. Um, a lot of the people were talking about that we are going to have a decisive drop in inflation. And if we have a decisive drop in inflation, then we're going to have a decisive benefit to mortgage-backed securities, meaning the interest rates will go down. So, if, so if you're thinking about refinancing your house mm -hmm. or anything else like that, um, you know, we want inflation to go down so those interest rates go down so that you have For a lot sure. more affordability. For sure. And then um, are you guys still offering any sort of thing with movement mortgage? as far as you know refi down the road mm -hmm. okay. yes so we are we are still offering that um that advantage um we call it the movement advantage is what you know the the name that the marketing is using yeah. to go for it but uh yeah essentially what it's going to be is if you refi with us sometime in the year of 2024 mm -hmm. that um you're not going to have any lender fees okay. um so if somebody know. purchases a home and you know jumps into today's pricing mm -hmm. right and then a year from rates now. drop, mm -hmm. then they have that option to refi. Yep, and, and it'll be it'll be less expensive. That's fantastic. For them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, once you refi a house, there's there's still going to be closing mm -hmm. costs. We're not covering all the closing costs. No, no mortgage company is yeah. going to do that. Sure. But um, a lot of people don't understand too is when you refi a house, um, you get your old escrow back, mm -hmm. whatever is left over, and a lot of the closing costs with it is just you starting a new escrow. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about it too is, for the most part, you at least miss one one payment. Right sometimes too. So it doesn't so hurt as badly. It's about the same. Yeah. It's really about the same. Yeah. So, and then you can, you can put all the uh, refinance charges for the most part into yeah. the refinance itself. So that's awesome. And you know, what I'm hearing too, is that, um, the second half of this year from my industry perspective is supposed to be stronger than the first half. So we've seen sales down and that's due to, you know, inventory being down because mm -hmm. folks are staying in their homes because they have a 3% interest yep. rate, you know, and why would they move? Um, and so what we're projecting to see is that, you know, I'm seeing more inventory come on the market right now. I'm seeing it sit long for longer days on market. Mm -hmm. um, we're saying that, Hey, if we see rates dip, which, they're kind of anticipated to, you know, towards the end of the year, we're going to see all of these buyers come back into the marketplace, which is right. going to create more competition. So it may benefit someone to go ahead and pull the trigger on something now when you're still negotiating um, seller paid closing costs or due diligence repair requests, mm -hmm. you're not having to go into multiple offer situations. Yeah you might be able to get a better deal now you yeah. know, in spite of whatever today's rate is. Yeah, I mean, I know I know a lot of listing agents um, and sellers are offering two to one buy downs. Mm -hmm. They're offering concessions and everything else. Mm -hmm. And I mean, those concessions will definitely make up a lot of the difference in rate. And especially when you're talking about that, Obviously, nobody's a predictor of the future. Right? I don't have a I don't have a crystal ball that I can look into and tell you. Oh, next year interest rates are going to be five percent. But um, you know, the majority of people believe that interest rates will go down next year. So if you can get in there and you can get you know two or three percent seller concessions, mm -hmm. you're going to end up making money when you refi it at at the end of the year. For sure. So cool. I mean, you only be paying that interest rate for a year, probably, um, ideally. So good info. All right. Well, uh, we hope to see you all next time. And like, like we said earlier, so if you're new to the neighborhood, um, please just kind of send us a message so that we can get you on that distro list so that you can get your monthly update that uh, Jen sends out. Yeah. Quarterly update, right? Quarterly. Yeah, quarterly. Quarterly update. All right. Well, thank you all, and I hope you all have a great week. Have a great week.